This is a swarm which settled on the soffit board of a roof just below the tiles. In fact they were going underneath the tiles to some extent. So what I decided to do was to brush them off uh, into a hive box. It's actually a corrugated cardboard hive box. They're a great standby and very good for a situation like this because they're light and so they're easy to manage. So I put the hive box underneath the swarm and brush it into the box with just one movement and then put the lid onto the box to stop the, the bees immediately flying out. There they go into the box. On goes the lid. And then I like to, to uh, put them down nearby while I put the the rest of the frames in so I'll fill the box with frames and ideally I'll put the box as close to the to where the swarm had settled as I can this was on the, the just the edge of the roof so what I'm going to do is to put the box actually on the tiled roof and underneath the tiles I put a piece of foam with some bee repellent the idea is to um, discourage the bees from going back to where they were settled and the bees which are in the hive box produce a scent, a pheromone which encourages all the flying bees to come into the box with them so I'm discouraging them from being underneath the tile and on the front of the soffit board where they were before and the bees in the box are fanning their pheromone out to encourage the bees are flying around to go into the box. So you'll see when I put the box on the roof of the uh, house you'll see a lot of bees clustering around the entrance and as, as time goes on more and more we'll smell the, the, the pheromones which the bees are producing and they'll be drawn in. This usually takes perhaps an hour or so, maybe not quite as long as that and I like to leave it as long as I can so I get as many bees as possible inside the box but inevitably some are going to be left behind because even in the natural course of events some bees will be left behind when a swarm moves on and so those that are left behind won't obviously be able to maintain themselves on their own so they'll actually go back to their parent col colony after a day or two.